For years there has been a controversy between whether or not global warming is an occurrence we should be on edge about. Some people say it's happening right now, while others say it will never happen. Earth has had a natural cycle of rising temperatures and falling. The average temperature has cycled through four times already and is starting its fifth cycle. It is almost at the peak right now, so it will warm up for a little bit longer and then fall. Then in another 125,000 years, the temperature will rise again. In your opinion, is global warming a threat we should be worried about? Ah, which we should be worried about. In my opinion, I don't think so. Uh, most people who look at this are saying that we might see a one to two degree temperature rise by 2100. Um, remember, that's about 85 years away. Do you think their global warming will become a threat? Well, you would have to you'd have to get that temperature up pretty high uh, for it to be a threat. I think I think nature is very resilient and can adapt to changes even even if we consider that the changes happening now are rapid, which I don't think they are, but if we consider them rapid, nature will adapt. The Earth's average yearly temperature has been at a record setting high two times over the past five years. Polar bears' ice caps are getting smaller and smaller, and the fear of extinction is looming close. But is it because of humans? Because there are certain like studies done that the global warming happened in like the Jurassic period. Do you think that if humans were around, it would still have increased then also? Do you think that they've had that big of an effect on it? Yes, yes. If you look at, if you look at what's going on now, and you say that humans are a component, uh, albeit an unmeasurable one, then it's it's uh, it would stand to reason that uh, that the warming that we're experiencing now might not be as severe. The warming that we're seeing now is not that strong by historical standards. Al Gore stated that temperature levels have risen as a direct result from of CO2 levels rising, but there is substantial proof he had it backwards. There is a 600 to 1,000 year lag of CO2 after the temperatures. Al Gore stated that CO2 is driving temperature increases, but uh -huh. global warming skeptics are saying that he got the relationship between temperature increases and CO2 in reverse. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, there's some... There's some question as to whether the CO2 rise comes first or the temperature rise comes first. And if you look at the temperature record of the 20th century and the increase in CO2, they correlate pretty good, but it's not easy to tell which way it goes. John Coleman, co-founder of the Weather Channel, says the ocean is not rising significantly. The polar ice is increasing, not melting away. Polar bears are increasing in number. Heat waves have actually diminished, not increased. There is not an uptick in the number or strength of storms. In fact, storms are diminishing. And while some global warming scientists claim that the sea level has increased more than it ever has before, it has been proven that the sea level has risen at the same slope since the 1850s. This was just one of 35 errors that Al Gore made in his movie, The Inconvenient Truth. Another error he made was stating that more hurricanes and tornadoes have occurred, and the hurricanes were man-made. As shown in the graphs, hurricanes have remained constant, and tornadoes have obviously decreased. Mosquitoes are taking malaria to lower altitudes, not higher altitudes. This way, yet another mistake made by Al Gore. Professor Anthony Lupo said, First, carbon dioxide is not a pollutant, as many claim. Carbon dioxide is good for plant life and is a natural constituent of the atmosphere. During Earth's long history, there has been more and less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than we see today, showing again that global warming is a natural process and one that humans haven't created or made worse on their own. Global warming has been a highly debated topic over the past years, and although some scientists will claim it is a threat we should be concerned about, there is evidence we have nothing to be worried mm -hmm. over, because Earth is on a natural cycle. Just admit it, global warming is a complete hoax.